The students of the future will demand the learning support that's appropriate for their situation or context. Nothing more, nothing less. And they want it at the moment. The need arises not sooner, not later. Mobile devices will be the key technology for providing that learning support. Greetings, everyone. It's me, Aisha Rao. Today, I'll be speaking about online classes here at Babylon National School's weekly speakers club held on every Friday. Online classes are typically a mix of video recordings or live lectures supplemented with readings and assessments that students can complete on their own time. Basically like a school in home where we do the same things without physical touch and using a device. Online classes or online courses were not as popular before COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, right now, we ourselves are using online classes and it's as interactive. They used, uh, they used wasn't as much, but now with COVID-19 pandemic, we are all forced to stay in our home, avoiding physical touch with, uh, with any outsider and going outside at our own risk. Now, let's talk about the benefits and disadvantages we receive from online classes. The advantages can be the home advantage, the home advantage, digital learning has made learning interesting and fun for students. We can easily communicate with our teacher and even your friends. How cool is that? Not only that, but it even helps you learn new technical skills. It is great for students with anxiety as they don't have to stay within a circle of people physically. It also helps to save our money like lunch money and travel money and all the other stuff we need in our school. And it also helps us discover new interesting sites and moving on to the disadvantages. Online classes make it easier to procrastinate. Students, if they want, they can skip it easily. It is not very interactive due to all the features and freedom students are provided with during the use of these applications. Adaptation of these classes for students who have been doing physical classes for the rest of their lives. Adapting for them can be a difficult task as we have been doing our physical classes for the um, for for our whole lives. And it can easily d damage the eyes of students and even the teachers. That's not good. Students tend to avoid teacher and use their desired social media platform instead of paying attention to our classes. And at the end, we should not forget every pros comes with cons. As mentioned, the multiple benefits of online classes are yet not as sociable, communicable, physically helpful as physical classes. So physical classes are the best for students. But right now we're forced to stay with online classes. And that's all I'd like to say. Thank you and have a wonderful day.